In this tutorial, I will show you how to create an alias uh, in the physical layer. So before going to through that, uh, let's see what is the description. Uh, what is the what is alias table? So alias table, it's nothing but your reference for the existing table itself. So basically, when you want to uh, represent any dimension or facts. So by see by looking at the table name, sometimes we will get confused if there are hundreds of tables. So in order to avoid that situation, so what we probably will do is we'll create an alias with our own understanding names. So here uh, we know that products is dimension and sales is fact. So let's create an alias with the meaningful names. So create physical alias. Sorry, create an ali alias. And you can see when I clicked on the products, you can see the source table as product here. But uh, since uh, it is a dimension, I want to give the naming convention as dimension and products is the name. Now just click on OK. See here, you can see with a different icon. This icon represents alias. So now sales is fact. So I'll go and create one more alias for fact, fact underscore sales. So now we, so probably what we'll do is we will not work with the actual tables. Mostly we'll work with the alias. So now if you just select these two and select the physical diagram of these two, you won't see a relationship because we just created the alias. Now you need to give a join between these two since the underlying metadata will be same so whatever the relationship uh, it exists in the database you can use the same relationship you should use the same thing. so from the product select the product id and from the fact select product now oh, that's it uh, we are done this is one way of using the alias and one more uh, way is uh, let's say if you want to fetch some of the category details from this product but uh, category itself is a new dimension then what we can probably do is you can create one more alias uh, like saying that it's a dim category and you can use this table as a category table though the underlying table is same but still you can represent this table as category table and you can use uh, you can use this table uh, to join the existing one or uh, like you can use this for the circular joins as well And as I said, there are some restrictions. Uh, you cannot rename a column name. You cannot change the column data type. So if you want to change these these things, you need to go and change into the actual table itself. And these are the advantages of alias. OBA does not support circular join uh, directly, so we will use the alias concept to do the circular join and self join also you can do by using alias uh, as i said like earlier one dimension can act as a multiple dimensions with different different keys so you uh, wherever you find these scenarios you can go ahead and use the alias functionality in rpd that's it we'll move on to the bmm layer in the next classes